what's up everybody welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use the isometric grid and how you can create one for your own artworks and i'm going to show you how you can create something like this okay so first of all we want to create the isometric grid and how we are going to do this is by clicking on the line segment tool and we just going to drag one line okay so basically we are going to create the grid with this single line so we're going to set the stroke to 0 0.25 points okay now we are going to the appearance panel. You can find it in the, main, in the menu window and appearance. And we click on add new effect uh, and we click on transform. In the transform panel, we are going to set the horizontal, horizontal move to like 30 pixels. And we are going to set some copies. I'm going for like 60. And what this basically does, it copies the line 60 times each moved 30 pixels from each other. Press OK. And now we want to create another effect in the appearance panel. Click on the effect button and go to distort and transform and go to transform. Click on it. Um, yeah, it asks if you if we want to apply another instance of this effect and we are going to click on apply new effect So now we are now we want to set the same amount of strokes 60 I think we had and we are going to set this angle to 60 degrees and press on Okay yeah, so basically what this does is it gives it a degree of uh, 60 and also minus 60. So we now have the isometric grid, um, but it's not like um, it doesn't give any guidance if we hover over it with the pen tool. So we have to um, set some uh, guidelines create some guidelines of it and how we are going to do this is select this uh, single line on the left and go to object expand appearance and now he activates all the lines I think we are going to work with this so we are going to drag this a little bit to the left and just create a new layer and lock this layer so we can excellent accidentally drag it okay so for now we are going to create this beautiful eight in the isometric grid let's make it a depth of four blocks and a, a height of 11 blocks three four five six seven eight nine, ten eleven and four back up again and we go back up again we set this line to a stroke of one point or maybe we make it three points so we can see what we are doing select the pen tool again and we are now going to create this top platform uh, and we are going to make this one two three four five six seven blocks one two three five six seven blocks and we are going to move four to the side and drag it back again we don't have to close it because in the end we are going to work with the shape builder tool so now we want to make a new path click on p for the pen tool this releases the path we just made we are now going to drag this uh, front side of the eight 
Okay, press on P again. So basically now we are going to drag all the other lines to create the um, eight form. close this one and now we are going to create the lines which set the depth in the design okay this looks quite good so now we are going to work with the shape builder tool to create all the uh, elements. Okay, this looks quite good. So on the top we are going to work with a gradient. We are going to release the outline stroke and we are going to click on the gradient and switch it to the fill color okay so we are we can set this gradient from left to right uh, we want to switch the colors and we are going to um, set this one to uh, full black i think this is already full black and then we are going to set this one to white or maybe a really light gray color okay this looks quite good okay so over here we are going to set this gradient as well what you can do is like click on the um, a pipette eyedropper tool and click on the top um, platform then it just copies the color. Okay, we are going to change the angle of this gradient to probably 90 degrees. A little bit more. Okay, a little bit more, I guess. We are going for 120 degrees. And over here, we are going to set a white No, we are going for a light gray color and for this one we are going to use the eyedropper tool and change the angle and we are going to give this one a little darker color. Okay, so over here we are going to use the eyedropper as well. How many degrees is this? This is like 60. For this one we are going to copy this one. Set the degrees to 60 as well. And slowly but surely we are going to, we are filling the elements. So for this one we are going for this black one as well, we are get, going to get rid of the outlines. Uh, for this one in the front we are going for the same color as this outer circle. And for this one in the bottom we are going for the same one as this one. And we are going to add an uh, angle to it. So we want to get the shadow from the right side. So 120 is kind of good, I think. For this gray color, I'm going to choose a little bit one lighter. Okay. And for this one, we are going with 
um, a little darker light gray I think something like this is quite cool and then for this one we are going to use a dark gray as well and then we are going to get rid of the black outline and we are going to paste this bad boy we are going to get rid of the grid first so set the layer on invisible and then we are going to drag a rectangle behind it and give it a full fill color of full black and now we want to set this black rectangle to the back of the artwork and we are going to do this by by clicking on shift command and bracket open so this looks quite good nice i like it this is nice okay okay guys so basically with the isometric grid you can be very playful and create anything you want i hope you liked the video and i hope you are now ready to create your own awesome stuff in the isometric grid please drop a like on this video leave a comment and follow the channel for more epic stuff peace